Okay, so the next thing we're doing is a thing called the term to term rule. Um, so this is just being able to recognise um, the pattern of a sequence. So being able to work out how much a sequence is going up by, etc. Okay, so the sorts of questions you might have would be ones like this. So we need to work out what the term to term rule is for the following sequences. So if we look at the first one, we've got 7, then 10, then 13, then 16. We need to work out how we would get to the next one. Okay, so if we look at the first two numbers, we've got the 7 and the 10. If we look at those, we think, what do we add on to get to the next one? So to get from 7 to 10, we would add 3. Okay, and if we check that for the rest of them, so to get from 10 to 13, yep, we would add 3. And the same from 13 to 16. So the term to term rule would be that you're adding 3 each time. Okay, and that's all you'd have to say, add 3. Okay, if we look at the next one, so we've got negative 1, then 4, then 9, 14, 19. So again, look at the first two. So I think what we need to add to negative 1 to get to 4, we'd have to add 5. Check that it works for the other one, so you'd add 5 to 4 to get 9 and so on. So this one would be add 5. Okay, and the last one's slightly different. So if you look at these numbers, we're not going up this time. We're actually decreasing because we're starting at 10, then going down to 8, then 6, then 4. So to get from 10 to 8, we'd have to subtract 2. And then if we check the next ones, they would do the same thing. So this one would be just be take away 2. Okay, so for those ones, it's just as easy as that. Just look at the sequences and see what's happening each time. Okay, the next versions of the questions will be these. So we've been given a term to term rule and we've given the first number in the sequence. We need to find the next five terms. Okay, so if we start with A, we know the first one is three and we know that each time we're going to be adding four onto it. So we started with three. So if we add four onto three that's going to give us the next number in the sequence so three add four would give us seven so that's these this is the first this is the second okay to get the third we would add four onto the seven so four add seven gives us eleven then we need to find the next one so we need to find the fourth again just keep adding four so eleven add four is fifteen then we need the fifth, which would be 15 add 4, 19. And the sixth, um, 23. Okay, so we've got the next, so we started with this one, we've got the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and it's just as easy as that. As long as you know what the first one is and you know what's happening each time, you'll be able to work out as many numbers as they want for the question. Okay, and then for part B, again... We're starting with 10 and we're taking 5 away from it. So if we take 5 away from 10, <coughs> um, we're going to get 5. So that's the second one. Again, taking away another 5 would give us 0. And we do it again. Negative 5. And again, be careful with your negatives. Negative 10 and one more because we need 6 terms negative 15 okay so each time i've just kept taking away five from the previous one and that's all you have to do nice and simple just take your time